All right, I will be using this video to explain how I made my cardboard night gauntlets for my uh, full suit of plate armor night costume that's chugging along. Um, so I guess I should first start with the base of it. The whole thing is built on top of a football glove that I had lying around from, I don't know, one of my siblings. Um, each one of these segments is glued on. I got to talk about these segments. I did not make every single one of these segments by my own design. There is a video on YouTube that should pop up um, if you just look up cardboard gauntlets of a dude making cardboard robot gauntlets. And that gave me the base because uh, he includes um, his templates in that video, uh, the description. That gave me the base for all of these different individual segments that I modified to be more knight-like. Uh, the segments up here aren't very changed, uh, but these finger tips of the fingers, I just pointed the ends of them because in the video he has them cut flat, so you just got to modify the template a little bit. And uh, the templates aren't very good because everybody has a different size of, you know, fingers, of course. My hands are pretty big, so... Uh, make sure that when you copy the template, you draw a new line, um, elongating the little bands that go around. You can see they're overlapping. Uh, if I stuck to the original template, they'd be just barely touching, um, which first off creates a weak bond and second off might not fit every finger. So make sure you elongate those and then test fit it on your finger, mark a little line where the band goes to make it, you know, fit your finger nice and tight. And then um, glue the band overlapping onto that line, up to that line. Uh, and some of these, the band wasn't quite long enough, and I glued li little reinforcement pads right here. Um, on all of these finger ones, uh, just because of the shape, um, I didn't elongate those. I just glued on pieces of cardboard to make them fit. I probably could have elongated them, just the same as the rest of these, but I didn't. Eh, whatever. Um, so there's just bands and pieces of cardboard of very different, various different sizes uh, glued onto them to reinforce them and make sure that they're the right size. Now, about the right size, you don't want these segments to have a vice grip on your finger because this glove is already hard enough to take off as it is. You kind of have to tug on tug and wiggle on each little finger before it loosens up um that's basically it for the fingers now the part that goes over the top this did not come from a template this was me um basically you can just see the shape of these different pieces you measure your hand you make sure that these pieces are a little bigger uh give it that pointed shape uh the bottom piece of this one is uh flat right it's flat a straight line right across because it's going to be covered up by this guy right here. This one has slightly less of a point to it. Um, and that just lays over the top of the piece right here. And they are uh, glued together. I wish I could show you the bottom um, and I could show you how to make these and not just explain them. But too late. They're already made. Um, it was torture enough making them. So I didn't want to have to film a video while doing that. But basically they're glued together on the bottom. And then I put a little piece of cardboard uh, kind of like a like a supporting piece that was uh, perpendicular to these two pieces just to get rid of the point a little bit, get, get rid of the curve. And then I put a flat piece of cardboard over the top of that piece uh, so that it was more contoured to your hand. Because if there was, if I didn't do that and there was still a point there, there'd be a huge gap in the glove where it wasn't touching your hand and you couldn't glue it. Glue wouldn't be as strong because there's not as much surface area. Um... And then let's talk about the thumb piece. The unpainted, unformed thumb piece looks a little bit like this. Um, just goes onto the thumb piece like that. You can obviously see it's bent because this little lip folds down and comes right there. And that bends the thumb into shape. And then you're gonna bend this top part like this, just bending it forward. Glue this down to there, uh, and then add a little cardboard strip. Uh, glue that down just to reinforce it. And this is, of course, just hot glue. And then, whoop, trying to use one hand for one thing. Eh, you get the idea. It bends. It looks like this. And uh, the way I have it fastened, you can see it's this stretchy band. 
that I got from a craft store. Super glue works wonders with these things. That's never coming loose um, unless you rip the actual cardboard. So yeah, super glue. Uh, make sure that there's a little bit of a gap um, in the where you glue one band and where you glue the other so that the band has a little bit of room to stretch. Um, and that's how you're going to be able to get your thumb movement because this piece has to stretch downwards because the thumb has, you know, all of this good motion. And that just sits on top. It's glued in the exact same way down here. Just a stretchy band glued onto the thumb and then onto the piece. And uh, the thumb itself is the same thing as the rest of the fingers. Just make sure to elongate the band so that they overlap and uh hot glue it onto the glove uh speaking of the hot glue you're in for a world of hurt if you make these in the same way i did i wish that was a better way but you kind of just got to put your hand in it put the segment on and then burn the crap out of your hand with hot glue uh and when you're making these make sure that the hot glue is only along the back the very back where the band is um because if it's any further forward as you can see there's this whole section up here of this segment that isn't hot glued and can't be hot glued because if it was then it would interfere with the movement of the one back here, uh, up up here so yeah just make sure it's hot glued at the back and not the front uh when you're putting it on um back plate was also extremely painful to put on you just suck it up hope that your glue thing has uh temperature control put it to the lowest setting and uh yeah um that basically concludes it. I can't think of any other anything else to say on how this was made or any tips to produce it. Um the whole thing took me about eight to nine hours of work just for one glove. Um, including the other glove which I have sitting over there. So this takes a long time. It's mostly about cutting out the segments. Um and fitting them, fitting each segment, and then gluing it on, it just takes a really, really long time. And not to mention the time it took for me to figure out how I was going to make these. Um, whole project probably took like 20 hours. Uh, hopefully it doesn't take as long for you because I'm giving you, I'm making this video to help you out if you want to copy my design. Um, in terms of the paint, uh, pretty, pretty standard. Um, I glue this piece. I glued this piece on. It slides under that segment back there. Uh, looks super snazzy, and it's going to fit in with the whole character design of my uh, suit of armor. Um, just painted that red. Uh, before I put it on, though, I spray painted the whole glove with uh, chrome paint, and then you just get a paper towel. Just a standard paper towel. Um, and this is really good as like a paintbrush if you're trying to make something look crappy. Paintbrushes make it look too nice. I wanted these to look really torn and worn down from, you know, being a knight. Uh, so yeah, just get a paper towel, dip it in some paint. Make sure that there isn't too much paint on it because uh, you, you, you want it to like, you want it to be damp with paint, not necessarily soaked or else you'll accidentally put too much on. Um, and you just rub that on all the little, all the little tips uh, I rub it on the edges mainly just because it really makes all of those different segments pop. And then I painted the areas back here brown, as well as this, uh, thing right here, brown, um, adds a little bit, of, adds a little bit of extra color, better than just having it be white and black. Um, it's very comfortable, uh, moves just like your normal fingers were, but makes you feel super cool because your whole hand's encased in cardboard. Um, that basically concludes it, uh, concludes it for my explanation on how I made these. Um, I've got a lot of other armor that I need to explain how to make later on. I got the legs over there, pauldron. Um, but that, uh, I've, I've not finalized any of these. The gloves are the only piece that I've really finalized and I'm really happy with. Um, so, uh, that's basically it.